Hello and uh, welcome to another battle on World of Tanks. This time is on the Hago Tier 2 Light Japanese tank on the province map, which is a map that uh, if you play low tiers you'll be very familiar with. Now when I start on this side uh, of the map, which is the north side, I actually uh, always go to this spot. The reason why I go to this spot is because it allows a number of things to be achieved. First of all, you get, as you can see here, to do a bit of sniping on uh, tanks that try to cross the road and go on to the uh, other side of the valley. You also keep a very good eye on anybody approaching the base. You basically are controlling the base. And at the same time, as you can see um, uh, from um, uh, just uh, basically behind where I am, you can actually keep an eye on this side of the map there. You can see it here, right there where sometimes some enemies actually try to approach. Um, it is actually very important to have somebody kind of keeping an eye where I may be in the gun, which is this area here, which is very much uh, of great importance to either side of the teams, uh, because it's um, uh, kind of like a, a, a very cr crucial impo important point of the map that uh, people need to control. Um, the thing with province is the fact that sometimes it can either be extremely fast and furious with one team attacking uh, the other en masse or it can be what other people call a camper fest or camp fest. In this case I actually prefer to sit here and wait for the enemy to make the first move and then just snipe them, like in this case. You need to have obviously a um, a tank with a good gun, relatively accurate, and you need to have binocular because it allows you to focus at uh, cars, uh, sorry, tanks that are a little bit further away. But also, it pays to have a bit of a camo net because they do kind of sometimes as you can see pop from round that corner and it's good to not let them know that you're there as much as you can in this particular battle uh, I think my team is very fairly well positioned as you can see we're all kind of right there along an arc like this so we're kind of controlling half, half of the map there you go That cost me a little bit of damage, but at least I got rid of one dangerous enemy that could have actually spotted for his teammates on me and the other uh, allied next to me. Now this is the difficult part, trying to hit these tanks as they move along the road. It's not easy, because you have to time your shots and trying to lead it a bit. And there you go. It was worth doing, because it's now one less danger. Now on province there, there seem to be kind of bursts of activity followed by absolute <laughs> nothing. <laughs> um, it depends. Uh, I don't mind, I, even when nothing happens you can actually feel the tension. Everybody is uh, extremely careful not to expose themselves because you can pay your mistake. You can pay for your mistakes very very dearly. As you can see these two they took too many risks and they were killed quickly but my team is still losing I don't know why even though we got a good disposition on the map we are still losing by one I'll just fast forward a bit just to show you a bit more of sniping from long distance unfortunately at this distance your gun loses a bit of the penetration but not too much that was a good kill from a long distance so there I am I'm actually the highest scorer on the team and at this point I think the game is going too slowly I'm gonna leave that place I'm gonna start covering a bit more of this side and just as I do that two enemies pop up one on the road and one straight ahead I can't do anything about that because he's hiding behind the houses so I'm gonna have to wait until he comes out and the one at the top of the road 
One hit. And he's gone, unfortunately, out of range while well, he's behind the rock. So we're still struggling there. Uh, I'm still fairly confident we can hold this through. But as you can see, my, my teammates, some of them are a bit, starting to be a bit low on HP. And there you go. We lose one. So still back down. However, this MS1, I have a feeling, it's not a bad player. It's taking... Oh, it is a bad player, sorry. <laughs> no, I got that wrong. Oh, and we've got now, uh, just as I thought, a couple more enemies on this side. Now it's beginning to look really bad. We're losing 7 to 10. And on the other side, watch the score. There's a Panzerjag, um, four kills. And there's also a Cruiser 3, a Panzer 2 and a Teke. And an 81 that is still without uh, kills. So it's still a fairly strong team on the other side. On our side though, we've got that T18 which is actually just there. There, behind the house. It was the guy next to me. So uh, I have a little bit of faith that at least with the T18 on our side we can do a bit more damage. But this M2 Lite is actually playing a good game bit of peekabooing but it's kind of stopping me from having a clear shot and then he's playing his cards right he doesn't expose himself too much he stays there he knows that for as long as he stays behind that house he's fairly safe so he basically stands there and it's like um, a kind of little radar placed near our base just to detect any future movements up on the hill ah he's moved up on the hill as I was saying there's no chance to hit there so still waiting for this guy to make a move and he just manages to avoid getting exposed again I'm just waiting for him to make a move it's not easy not easy at all I am definitely not going to move from here. Um, there's too much of a risk of somebody being, an enemy being around this side here of the map. If I come out from where I am, I'll be spotted and I'll be easy meat. Ah, managed to get one hit, but not the second one. But I'm hoping that little by little, I might be able to just get rid of this guy because he's doing the right thing, he's spotting for his team and you can see the results the 81 just scored his first kill on the Cruiser 3 so we basically have only one light tank and that's the Panzer 35T which is up there and he's only at 17% and he's dead so this is not looking good anymore because there's only three of us See, I'm trying a chance shot here, but it was probably a bit too ambitious. And that M2 light, I know I've got to get rid of it because it's too much of a danger. He's spotting the three of us for his enemies. Please note there are eight enemy tanks. Bad shot, didn't lead enough. I got, got that round right, and then thank god the T-18 is scoring another hit and there he goes finally got rid of that M2 so I can finally take a breath but no because in the meantime the medium tank is destroyed so we're back again in a really difficult position me and a T-18 against six enemy tanks not easy there's nothing else we can do all we can do is stay put there and just wait for the enemy to make a move and they do and all I have to do is take an aim one shot and he's dead two shots but somebody has been firing me with a machine gun and it keeps doing so and it's straight across so it's a really difficult situation I can't expose myself somebody is firing me from around where the church is well the, the abbey is look 
is actually dealing some damage. Thank God the T-18 is on the ball and gets rid of this big threat, which is the AT-1. But I still have to source out where is this tank that is firing at me. Look. And now all of a sudden somebody's capturing our base. But thank God it's not a good player. And we get rid of him. So what we have? We have a Panzer II that is just behind me there on the road. Uh, we have possibly another Panzer II just straight across. And the Teke, nowhere to be seen, but I do know it was somewhere, if I remember correctly, up on the hill. That's what I thought. That's the last time I saw it. Unless I'm not remembering well. So, it's a bit of a tricky situation this, because I've got about 66 HP, not very many. See, I'm looking out for the Panzer II if he's there, or the Tech if he's there to come up from there. The T-18 is at full health, so that's good. But I want to survive this game now. I want to do well, because I think we've worked hard so far to fend them off. I think we should f win this. But unfortunately we are nailed because of one tank that is somewhere in here, somewhere there, next to that habit. Can you see where I'm pointing with the mouse? In fact, I can show you now, it's somewhere there, right there, at the foot of the abbey. There it is, you can see it now. So what do I do? I was trying to get a better position, see if I could at least fire at it and of course we lose sight of it so a few shots to where more or less I think he is don't think to have hit him at all and in the meantime the T-18 is down to 12% much to my uh, dismay it's not looking good at all I've got 66 HP he's probably got about 20% there it is Bad shot the first, bad shot the third, second, third, come on, come on, come on, a little bit lower, got it, but this cost me a lot, we lost the T-18, and I don't really know where he was coming from, I have a feeling it's right there behind those houses, possibly, or is it behind the houses on the left? And all of a sudden, there he is. Now, this is a tricky situation. I have to absolutely hope that every shot lands. This is missed, but not the next. Now, this is good. Now, this is much better. I've got my top gun, that's a good thing, but especially I'm still alive. And there's only one enemy. And the enemy is capturing the base. Why are you capturing the base? You should try and kill me. So I load a bit of gold because I think I have only got one shot, just one shot to destroy him. And, and then I know after that I could well be dead. So I've got to penetrate. No mistake. No ricochet, no bounces. I've got to penetrate. That's when you load gold. It's not showing, so I make a very, very, very small, little by little move until I can just about see it. One shot. Two shots. Miss this one. And it's done. Now, that was really hard work, but it was well worth it. Top Gun, seven kills, survival, and winner. Now, that's where... Even with the Hago, if you know the map well, if you can hold uh, your nerves, if you can be patient, even a bad game can actually turn out a victory. Thank you for watching.